Hello, everyone. Thanks for having us at Pivot 2020. I'm Jesse Escobedo. And I'm Selwa Swayden. And we're Zooming in from Los Angeles, and we wish to acknowledge the Gabrielino Tongva peoples as its traditional land caretakers. We also want to thank NAVAL for their funding and community support. And also our participants with whom this would not be possible. Our research focuses on applying theories of decolonization to augmented reality or AR. As critical practitioners, we believe there is work to be done in unpacking and rethinking how AR centers or decenters the voices of marginalized communities. AR enables an overlay of information onto the physical world. So if you're familiar with the mobile game Pokemon Go, each virtual Pokemon is a digital element overlaid through your smartphone's camera becoming part of the environment. Today we're sharing two things. Firstly, an open syllabus. And secondly, the output of our co-creative making laboratory, which was a micro pluriverse, where we engaged in embodied and critical prototyping to recenter narratives through AR. This lab ran over seven sessions, which were roughly two to five hours each between October 2019 to February of this year. And in the spirit of Ramon Tejada's decolonizing design reader, we were interested in creating a shareable community resource, both for formal and informal design education and contexts. In the first stage, we discussed readings on decolonization, critical geography, and critical AR. We then moved from reading to making by synthesizing our learnings through affinity mapping. This inspired a personal cosmology exercise where we translated Arturo Escobar's thinking, feeling, and ontological cosmology ideas into a series of prompts. This cosmology exercise became a key tool for participants to address their own constructs and worldviews as they may be impacted by colonization. We then conducted field work and followed Ken Gonzalez Day's Lynching in the West Los Angeles Downtown Walking Tour. Because augmented reality is a tool which is mapped onto a spatial plane, we felt it was important to engage in critical spatial praxis. And finally, with Lily and Chris, we developed a three hour critical making workshop in AR to prototype a micro pluriverse. Iterating on the personal cosmology exercise, participants worked in pairs to perform a moment or a blip from their cosmology in situ at Naval. And now we'll show you the prototype of one pair, Elizabeth and Maxwell. So just to explain what you're seeing here is their performed cosmology video on the left and on the right is their video placed in AR anchored to the space in situ. To quote Maxwell, for my cosmology prototype, I poked holes in a dollar bill to symbolize reducing my attachment to money. The swirling around of the water in a bowl reminds me of the dreamlike or unconscious way in which invisible structures like money penetrate our lives, goals, and lead to a narrow perspective of what life means. Here are the rest of the prototypes that were anchored in situ at Naval. For the purpose of this presentation, we're now showing them all on one screen. And we're reflecting on the first stage of the open syllabus and whether to add new questions given that decolonization is so broad. We're also considering the limitations of the medium technology AR itself excludes users who do not have access to a recent model smartphone or tablet, Wi-Fi connectivity, and an assumed level of technological literacy. Furthermore, the AR tool we used is proprietary and only available for iOS as of now. We're asking ourselves how to assess whether the exercises and prompts lead to decolonizing AR. And we're also considering how to broaden cognitive diversity and incorporate new forms of prototyping the AR micro pluriverse. 
some next steps would be expanding participant perspectives and reaching out to different communities. Also, we're considering other workflows of prototyping in AR that involve more ontological relationships to the land. And with this in mind, we're putting together a decolonial thon to prototype outdoors and to think feel with the earth and a micro ecosystem in Los Angeles. We're also working to figure out logistics of accessibility in our syllabus, both in terms of requirements to engage with AR tools and the reading list itself. In summary, the open syllabus models how we might apply theories of decolonizing design to an emerging tool such as augmented reality. It offers a critical reading list and design briefs. And finally, it demonstrates how an AR tool can be used to prototype a pluriverse. And the micro pluriverse modeled a way to collectively map and imagine multiple narratives in augmented reality through an embodied prototyping approach into a workshop centered process and also a way of translating theories of decolonization into critical making. So thank you. We look forward to discussing any feedback or questions you have. Our emails are listed here, as well as a link to our open syllabus and an intake form for our upcoming decolonial fund.